Howdy folks, this is Shane. As you can see, another Amazon box turned up at my place. So I've got some new things I'm gonna be reviewing on the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell as well. So what turned up in this blood-stained box? Check it out. Ugh. Anyway, this is the first item that we're gonna take a look at. This is the Ulanzi. Ulanzi, is that how you pronounce that? Ulanzi U-Grip for a DSLR or as you can see, smartphone right here as well. So this is something that I wanted to try. I've got a couple of DSLR style cameras, some video cameras, as well as some DSLRs as well. So I'm shooting this with a GH5, and this is probably the camera I'm gonna be using on here, as well as the Panasonic FZ2500, and occasionally one of my Sony Handycams as well. So I thought, I'm gonna give one of these a go. I saw mixed results and mixed reviews of these. So we're gonna open this up, give it a shot, and see what's in the box and then test it out, so let's do it. Here's the box up close. I'll post links through to Amazon in the description if you wanna check one of these out. This was dirt cheap, and I thought I'm gonna give this a shot. As you can see, you, you basically only get this section. You don't get the mic and the light and all that kind of stuff, but most people should be aware of that. So for 20 bucks or thereabouts, I thought why not? So let's see what we get. This is my first look at this as well. That is it. So we get the item. <laughs> and a plastic bag, and that is it. So one complaint I saw about these on Amazon reviews was the fact that this actual uh, screw here for mounting your camera actually comes out, but I don't think it does. No, it's, it's pretty much in there. So that's great. It means you're not gonna lose this. It just sort of moves around. You can obviously allocate it to whatever part of the actual grip you want to have it on, or depending on the depth of your camera, you can move the actual mount back or forward. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's see how it actually fits. I'm gonna grab one of my other cameras. All right, here's my G85. Let's see how it fits. So as you can see, we're gonna have plenty of room right here, which is great, and get my hand under there. I could even probably raise the flash, and it's not gonna hit anything. I'll just make sure, yep. Not that I ever use the flash, but just in case you do need it. It's there. Now, a lot of people will assume you have to use it this way, but that's not exactly the case. I think I'm gonna use it this way. I wanna use this as a handheld, basically stabilizer. Even though this isn't a stabilizer, it makes it a lot easier to hold when you've got two hands on it like this, as opposed to just like this. So that was the plan. I have a feeling I'm gonna use it this way and pretty much hold on over here. So let's see if I can actually screw this thing in and we'll see if it fits. Now there's no right or wrong, you can use it however you like, but we're gonna try this the sideways to start with. Ha <laughs> ha. Another complaint I saw a lot of people have with this particular unit was the fact that there's a bit of play in the handle. With a light camera like this, I'm not really feeling it. If I push down, it moves a little bit, but it's plastic, so you're gonna get that. I don't think that's gonna actually hinder its performance, so let's stand up and see how it looks. All right, here it is up close. And as you can see, I've sort of got the camera hanging off the back. That wasn't actually intentional. So I can, of course, move it so it's sort of a little bit more centered. It just depends on how you want to do this. Like I said, just have a play around with it and see what works best for you. I know a lot of people will use it facing forwards. That's probably better now. Yeah, so that's way more balanced. Have full access to everything here still. So I'll be definitely using it this way. Uh, most likely holding it from the side, maybe a hand underneath or hand on the lens, just depending on how, I, how it is I'm gonna be shooting with it. This particular one that I ordered has three of the cold shoe mounts here. So I can essentially hook up a microphone or a light or whatever I like to this as well and have it hanging off the top. Just be aware though, if you're gonna hang a mic off it, you uh, might, it might actually in, sort of hinder your grip if you're holding it like this. That's why I plan on holding it from the side. I think this is gonna work probably best, you know, for what I'm using. But like I said, everyone's different. Most people will face it forward. What I'll do now, I'll hook up the GH5 to this and we'll go for a walk and see how it looks.
So what are my final thoughts about this? Would I recommend it? Absolutely, for the 15 or 20 US that I spent on it, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's something that I'll definitely get a lot of use out of. Look, getting the camera in the right spot is a little bit tricky the first time, but once you get it in, you can simply loosen the threading a little bit and shuffle the camera back and forth, and it's nice and simple. If you're gonna load this thing up with accessories, it might weigh quite a bit, so this is definitely not the thing you wanna be using if you're doing any selfie cam stuff. You can get away with it if you're using your phone, but anything heavier than that, it's gonna start putting a lot of pressure on your shoulder and arm, and holding it like this isn't very ergonomic. So I would definitely recommend something with a stick or a pole. You can also hold it underneath and kind of get some results like that. Um, it's just one of those things you're gonna have to experiment around with. The stabilization was great. The GH5 already has amazing stabilization, but just being able to hold it like this, well, I did it left-handed, was so much better for me personally. So yeah, the grip feels good. It's a nice spongy rubber. It kind of reminds me of the rubber that used to be made in the 80s. People back then will probably know. So yeah, it kind of feels like a, a thicker, more dense version of a wetsuit material. That's the best explanation I can give. So if you'd like to find out more about this, I'll post some Amazon affiliate links down in the description. If you like this video and you click on those links, I get a small kickback and any help is appreciated. So yeah, if you want to get one of these, go for it. I think they're really, really good. The great thing even in Australia is this Amazon stuff turns up extremely fast. It's quicker than our postal system normally. So it's really, really cool. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell and I will catch you all soon. My name's Shane. I hope you enjoy this video. Catch you soon.